everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another Speed Build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So, um, today we're building in the world of Glimmerbrook. This is the world that came with... Um, what What is that? The Spellcaster world. Um, Realm of Magic. So, um, it's been a while since I built on this world and I've tried a few different times building on this lot before but I always ended up hitting all of my builds and one day or night to be exact I came across um, this idea to build a kind of like a New Orleans type of a style build but with a little hint of industrial and also to make it a little creepy so um, this is the end of October I'll post this on the 28th I would say um, so it's definitely the end of October and we'll celebrate Halloween in just a matter of days now so this is the like spooktober week I would say it's weekend not just week spooktober weekend and this is my first build of celebrating like spooktober I should start a little bit earlier but whatever um, but actually I didn't plan this build to be my next video uh, because I already have another build that I just finished editing I just have to do the voiceover and take the screenshots and basically I'm halfway done but I remember that it's spooktober time so I have to build something um, like full team like spooky and like in um, a style that I've never done before so I decided to do this and it actually only took me like two hours ish to finish this build um, it's not that long to be exact because um, this is a 30 by 20 lot and that's a reasonable time and I've never built on this lot before so this is the um, elixir and Bruce lot i think i couldn't really see the lot name on the top left of the screen because my screen is just way too small my playback screen is basically like a fifth of my screen <laughs> so i couldn't really see that but you can see on the top left of your screen on what lot i built this on so i still use um fall as the season i typically only build in summer but for the past couple of weeks i just want to build in fall because the the trees are beautiful so actually um i built this right after i built the pumpkin barn wedding that i posted like last week or two weeks ago i'm not sure basically um that build made me realize how gorgeous the world when it's in autumn i just really love the trees i mean the trees are so Pretty. they're like red yellow oranges they're just so beautiful and I to be honest I don't know why I've never built in fall before I always avoid it because I think the lighting sometimes it looks um, strange and also back then I didn't really use reshade and you have no idea how strange this world is when I turn off my reshade they look very bluish like very bluish green and that's not fall color it's just so strange they're they're turned like they they have this like periwinkle blue tint if that makes sense so yeah i accidentally um turned off my reshade a few different times on this build because my um shortcut to turn on and turn off my reshade is shift plus r and the shortcut for tool mod is shift plus t so sometimes I pressed the wrong key and it made me laugh every single time how drastic the differences are between using reshade and not at all. So I think there are some laws that looks actually great even without reshade like in um, Oasis Springs and also in Windenburg and we have a few in Willow Creek but on this lot, uh -uh, no, this is look way better with reshade. I don't know why but I think reshade definitely like change the graphic I mean they look even like better 
well obviously that's just what reshade meant for but anyway um i decided to build this type of like a creepy ish like build on this lot because i was inspired by one of the townies from strangerville i'm not sure who the name is but he's a male sim and he wears hat that doesn't describe it, the sims at all but um basically strangerville has like strange townies with the like um, possess thing um, so I thought that one of the mastermind that caused that problems in Strangerville lives on this um, lot or house to be exact and they monitor uh, the whole world within this belt so um, I I should came with better story but that's just what I thought when I first built this and I built this at night typically I only built at day or like afternoon or evening but not night literally I opened up my game I built in um, forgotten grotto and then I canceled that because the lot is way too small and then I moved to here and I started at 10 a little over 10 p.m. at night so maybe for you it's not that late but for me it is quite late because normally I will go to sleep at um, like 10 30 or 11 so starting to build at 10 is rather late for me but I really really do enjoy on building this and also I really like on how this all look at the end uh, also I use Juni to bat to over here actually I use a lot of it and I know it's not a very popular pack I mean yes it's very popular because it's very different than the rest of the DLCs that we have but um, actually that pack is built by wise really good I would say it's just uh, not very like family house type of a belt but for some other styles it looks really great especially with that industrial loft kit and also with eco lifestyle with this i mean the star wars pack offers really good built by objects and i just really like that a lot so if you don't have that i am terribly sorry because i really do enjoy that pack yes i bought it when it was on sale like 50 percent off a few months ago um but I understand now why some people really like it. So anyway, we have two bedrooms. Yeah, two bedrooms and one and a half bathroom here. So the downstairs bath downstairs. <laughs> so the downstairs bathroom is like a fully like full bathroom situation. We have the shower and tap combo. We have the sink. We have the toilet. And I tried to make it as filthy as possible, but like a good filthy not like a dirty filthy if that makes sense so it doesn't look really terrible it looks rough but it's not terrible and um, this is the kitchen so I forgot to put the like fire alarm thing and I know that um, fridge I that's the cheapest fridge ever the like used version of the base game um, fridge and I don't think it's really good quality wise so it might cause fire so if you did download this build and you play on this build make sure to put the fire alarm first I mean better safe than sorry because I really forgot to put a fire alarm and Oh yeah, my voice is still a bit rough and still a little bit rusty, but it's fine. I'm feeling way, way better than yesterday even. So I I'm totally fine. I still have a tiny bit of cough, but not too much. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, so anyway, this is the first time I put that pumpkin from Spooky Stuff Pack. Um, Spooky Stuff Pack is my last DLC that... I purchased I mean not the most recent DLCs one like the kids and also paranormal and um, cottage living those are 
the most recent DLCs but the older DLCs that I got the last was spooky stuff pack and I at first I didn't understand why I have to purchase that on the first place because I already have seasons and that's basically do the same thing but turns out I really enjoy the pumpkin from um, spooky stuff packs just for this season for spooktober not for like the other um, season I don't know maybe you you won't put pumpkin in like I don't know Valentine's Day right so I didn't really understand why I have to bought that but turns out my friend Ardi um, he sent me that pack because he said that it's such a good pack so I got that and thanks to him I have spooky stuff pack and I finally use it on this build this is actually not the first build i use spooky stuff pack i will reveal it soon my first build with um spooky stuff pack i mean the first first very very first time ever i played with spooky stuff pack was like months ago when i was like testing my new pc to record while streaming i mean it's a private stream so it doesn't matter um and it made me laugh a lot because how bold the swatches are, especially the orange and the um, like purple, they're very bright and it made me laugh. So um, I definitely use a ton of packs on this build but you don't have to have a lot of packs. But for this build, I mainly use Seattle Living, Journey to Batu, um, Cottage Living, what else? Strangerville, Realm of Magic, I mean a lot of unpopular packs I would say I use on this um, build but I really love this and I played a lot with the lighting I changed the lighting into yellow and like warm white just to make it look a little bit creepier and filthier and I didn't really put the lot treat on this build but I think I might if I remembered to do that before I upload this to the gallery so if you see the like color of the video change a little bit that's because I accidentally turned off my reshade and I just explained it a little bit earlier so that's why it always happened on me like every single time I um, like record and I am just too lazy to change the shortcut to other key because it's it's just easier for me so anyway we have a half bath repair so just a toilet with a sink but I kind of imagine if this is my bathroom I could just take a shower with the like hose thing that attached to the side of that sink from eco lifestyle I mean it's it's working in real life at least you have water so it's totally fine and we are just finished with the whole interior and we're moving on to the exterior it took me forever to figuring out the um, roof because I don't know what to put there it's just so strange I've never built anything quite like this before so this is clearly my first attempt and um, building this made me realize on how many styles that I haven't discovered yet because I know there are a lot of like different styles from different region in the world and I really want to build something based off those styles so yeah if you have an idea on what style I should build next please let me know um, I've built the like Colombian inspired build I built of course two representation builds from my country and also um, Italian belts and actually a lot of belts like like Adobe style belts that are common in Middle East and um, a little bit in Italy so yeah I, I built a lot of belts but somehow I still haven't discovered a lot more so I really want to try new styles in the future so if you have any idea on what i should do next please let me know and we are just finishing up with the whole landscaping here put on some more trees just to make it look better because when in doubt just put some trees to cover everything up so i put a bunch of trees here and also it looks really cute with a lot of trees 
So yeah, um, we just have to finish up with the landscaping here and there and we'll be moving on to the screenshots. So if you want to download this build, this has been up on the Sims 4 gallery. You could find it under my EAID which is Alphatiera or under the hashtag PlamySims. You could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website. You can download it straight from there with the gallery download link and also the tray files it's totally free so yeah i think that is it i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm going to sign off right now thank you so so much for joining me today and supporting my channel Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!